I'm Shweta. If you are new, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and welcome to my YouTube space. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media platform. All of the handles are there in the info bar. It's on the screen at this very moment. So I have had a lot of requests, you guys, because I do these mini tutorials on Instagram, especially lipstick swatches. You got to follow me on Instagram if you really want to see all those bad girls being swatched. And I am a little more active on Instagram and on Facebook as well. So you can follow me on both of these mediums. And every time I have a lipstick swatch or I talk about lipsticks or I apply lipsticks, I get so many requests from you guys asking me to teach you how to apply a liquid lipstick when I spoke about my top red lipstick not even lipsticks lipstick for an Indian skin tone I even taught you how to apply a red lipstick I shall leave that in the info bar or you can click the link right here but guys applying a lipstick is something that I have learned over trials and errors and finally I have got the trick of making my lips look a little more pouty now I don't have full lips that's for sure and it's a known thing that as you grow older your lips are going to get thinner and thinner so there are things that you really need to remember when you apply a lipstick the first thing that you got to remember when you apply your liquid lipstick or any lipstick a matte lipstick will always make your lips look a lot more bigger when you have a lot of gloss and you know shimmery on its own it will just give that illusion I don't know something about it just doesn't work unless you put it on the center or you have an ultra shiny metallic lip gloss that will catch light from every corner and give an illusion of a full lip like the Huda Beauty lip strobe which I just swatched and there is the giveaway you can take part it's all there the info bar you can go there and check it out okay but what I'm trying to tell you is when you apply a very dark lipstick it will always make your lips look a little more thinner when you apply a light lipstick it will make your lips look a lot more bigger now if you are someone who is afraid to carry really light lipstick you feel it's going to wash you out then you can also wear a dark lips and ombre it by wearing right on the center a very light liquid lipstick or a light li lipstick in general you want an illusion of a big lip then I think you should only go for a matte lipstick preferably a matte liquid lipstick before I get into this tutorial and teach you how I make my very small lips a little more bigger a little more pouty a little more plumpy like how you guys keep on saying oh god it looks so juicy Ugh, what a word it's very important for you to prep and prime your lips and what I mean by that is you need to always 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 use a sugar scrub whether you get up in the morning and you take a brush and you just brush your lips as well when you brush your teeth it just takes away the dead skins from your lips and that is very important guys for you to scrub once a day I always do that I have a DIY sugar scrub and a DIY lip butter which I cannot do without it has changed the texture of my lips I have noticed my lips a little more supple and little more softer and what I also noticed because of the lip butter when I apply it at night it's almost like a mask going on top of my lips I wake up with a tinge of pink on my lips it has taken the pigmentation which a lot of us brown skin girls have next thing which is very important for you to have is a very good lip pencil I would suggest you to get a brown lip pencil like a nude one or a pink one preferably a brown one and I will show you a little trick on what I do just to define the outer corner of my lips because that is very important that you don't go overboard drawing over your lip line and looking like a banshee all right I'll be teaching you in just a second what you can do with the lip gloss right in the center as you can see it so when the light reflects it looks as if you've got a very juicy ugh, juicy lips going on okay I always start off by you know outlining my lips properly so this is what I do I take a mirror the small little mirror right here and I'm looking right straight into it and what I do is I first target the lower lip area Okay, and then I target my cupid's bow. Over here, I go slightly above my lip line and when I just make, you know, draw it slightly above the lip line, I make sure that I make an X form. For example, Can you see that I have drawn an X now all I have to do is connect 
the outer area of my lips all the way to my cupid bow. Now keep in mind when you're connecting it, when you are on the inner corner of your lips, make sure that it doesn't go above your lip line. It will look completely ghastly. So just make sure that you are drawing on your natural lip line. The same goes for your bottom lip as well. And just darken this portion of your lip line. And right here on the center, darken it like define it a little more so I have made three lines on my lower lip and two lines on my upper lip now I'm just going to shade the inner corner with my lip pencil either you can universally go with a light lip color or if you love your dark colors then right here on the center give an illusion of a bigger lip by putting a light color I am going to go for I think I'll go for Sephora Marvelous Mauve all over my lip if you've seen all my lip swatches I always start off with my bottom lip right here on the center and slowly I spread it out. Smile a little bit so it stretches your lips. And because you put a lip liner right at the bottom, can you see it just lifts up your you know, lower lip. So this is how you use the doe foot applicator, right? Right here. In the corner, you turn it and use the pointy edge of the doe foot applicator. Now don't forget the inner rim. Make that funny face and just do the inner rim so you don't have that, you know, almost what they call it, like a butthole lip. Right here on the center, now spread it out. And right here onto the center, turn it to the pointy edge and very gently work on your upper lip. Now look at your lips from every corner. You will see that it has that pout because of the lip line and see what needs to be cleaned and whatever needs to be cleaned all you have to do is take your nude lip pencil right here and just go over on the corners of it and to give an illusion again of a full lip just take your lip pencil again and darken the bottom look a lot more poutier then you can just wear a lip gloss right on the center of here let me just show you you can use any lip gloss because this is just to add a little more you know shine onto the center out here i'm using my favorite lip gloss at the moment and that is shameless and i'm just putting that right here on the center So this is also something that you could do when the light hits. It is just going to look a little more juicier, a little more plumpy. Also take a little bit of highlighter and put it on the cupid bow right here. Right on top of, you know, this outline very gently. So it gives that little illusion of, you know, your lips being lifted up. It's like as if, you know, you suddenly from your lips being down, it went like, eh? so putting a highlighter on your cupid bow and putting a little bit of your contour, your, you know, whatever, your bronzing powder, that works even better. You can just put it very gently with a pointed brush, eyeshadow brush, and it just gives that can you see that it gives that little subtle lift 
to your lips very important for you to do that and to finish off every lipstick tutorial if you see all of Jennifer Lopez pictures you will see that her makeup artist has done that it just defines the lips a lot more putting a darker lip liner right onto the bottom also defines the lip a lot more this completes the tutorial on how to put a liquid lipstick on and how to make your lips give an illusion of a fuller plumpy lips anyway I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial and I shall see you very soon in my next and until later bye